everyone. Hello. Guess where we are right now. Brady, where are we? We are on Disney property. What? Passing uh, to my <laughs> left, Coronado Springs Resort. Coronado Springs. Again, ter I'm a terrible filmmaker. But um, we are on our way Yay. to Disney Springs for the first time since they have reopened and we are yeah. really looking forward to it. And I'm kind of nervous, I'm gonna be honest. She's very nervous. She's I haven't not been, been out anywhere. in a while. She has not been out in a while Except in for three months. the drive-in, which you saw yep. us do a video of, and Mellow Mushroom, and, and COVID it. testing. Yep, and that's been it. I have, <laughs> uh, I've been going into work still, yep. so I'm a little less nervous and everything. Yeah, but, so uh, we've got our masks, we yep. are going on a weeknight, so we're hoping that things are gonna be a little less crowded. Holy cow, there's construction over here. Construction is still ongoing. Wow, I can't oh. even. Oh, wow. Whoa! We have not been over here in what, two, three months? So. No, we haven't even been driving through Disney since nope. everything. And also, like, I'll show some video ahead. There's, There's barely any cars on the road We've right only now. counted maybe 10 cars total yeah. on Disney property, maybe 10. Which, anyone knows anything, it's nothing. Like, right now, there's not a car anywhere. There's not yeah, a car Yeah, it's a little anywhere. crazy. It's so, crazy. we are, I think, just going to go walk around. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any plans. Yeah, we're we, just going to see what our comfort yeah, level is. Let's be honest with that. We have no, we're not going for anything. We might get food, we might get popcorn, we might not. We might go yeah, we don't know. some merchandise, we might not get anything. We might go in and walk right back walk out. Walk right back out, depending <laughs> on how safe it feels. Right. Um, we don't know. We've watched a lot of other awesome mm -hmm. vloggers that have gone, and a lot of them say it's been great. And there's a yep. few that have said it's uh, dicey. Yeah, so but, we're gonna see how it is. Yeah. But we will see you on the other side, shortly yep. at Disney Springs. The orange garage and uh one car right up here one car the first floor still had plenty of spots we just felt safe we're going okay i felt safe we're going up to a floor where there wasn't a lot of people holy cow this is kind of crazy on the AMC side of the garage and apparently you need to go over by the Planet Hollywood side. As of this recording. At least as of this recording. And so I, having not been here in so long, just embarrassed myself, <laughs> if you can hear us. I uh, tried to go down to the first floor on the escalator. Sarah kept going on the second floor and the security guy was like, if you're going to Disney Springs, yep. you need to stay on this floor. And I said, oops, and then I had to run back up the escalator. Uh, yeah, that so was So that was scary. embarrassing. Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting experience. And we've seen, uh, so far, we've seen a lot of people in masks, and to be honest, we've seen a lot of people not wearing masks. Yeah, so we'll not so good. Goes. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. All right, here we go. All right, so we just went through the temperature checkpoint. And we are sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Clear on temperatures. Clear on temperatures. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna be going down the escalator in just a minute. Okay. And <laughs> stairs, escalators look like they're closed. Yep. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Here so here we go. All right, so we are making our way to World of Disney and Deluxe Burger just to check the crowds. To be honest, we don't know if we're going in yet. We'd like to okay. see. Um, so far, what we're seeing, in my guesstimation, is about 90% of people wearing their masks appropriately. Mm -hmm. 90? Yeah, probably about like that. About 90%. There's about 10% of people that are not wearing their masks. So just making me a little stressed making out her now. a little stressed out. <laughs> There's a few of them that are blatantly trying to do the little I'm carrying a drink at all times so they don't have to wear a mask thing. Um, but which most people are actually Most complying. people are, yeah. I don't want to focus on the negative, but there are some that are not complying, clearly not complying. And it's not that busy, it's just like pockets yeah. of people. It's not like that busy everything. at all, yeah. Like we got, I'm going to do a show behind us. Woo! Get in frame. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's not bad at all. And um, sadly, Art Smith is uh, not open right now. It's delicious. But yeah, so far so good overall, I'd say. What do you say? Yeah, I say yep. so far. I mean, I'm a little nervous, but like I said, most people are wearing masks. So yeah, I feel majority good about are, that. and there's not a lot of people here. The, every so often you come to a grouping of people, but other than that, yeah, pretty this area good. This so, feels pretty good. Yep, so we're continuing on. McKenna's Bakery. They were open. There was no one else in there. No, so we were it. Awesome. Yep, we were it. They've got, I think Brandon took some footage while I was ordering. My glasses are getting fogged. Yes, yeah, it's warm. We got um, a lemon tea cake with raspberries in it, which I'm super stoked to try, and a really fancy little cake slice that I'm also excited to try yep. with like a vegan whipped cream and everything. So really awesome. Um, they have plexiglass in there and all sorts of safety measures. So. It was really nice. Very they, nice. They were great. They were wearing masks and everything, and it was really, really nice. And we were the only ones in there. Yes, so. which was awesome. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're coming up on World of Disney here. We're passing by the uh, Lego store. We have a couple of things that we thought we might get yep. in World of Disney. They have some cute shirts. Yeah. So, so we're looking those out. Yeah, we're going to be checking out the uh, Retro Pleasure Island shirts. Mm -hmm. So very cool. Available, but we are going to get a shirt still. Um, I think I'm going to get. I think I'm going to get this one. We'll see. Yep. And I am still looking, but we are going to get a shirt because we got to get something. Yes. But we are in World of Disney, and um, it's semi-crowded. We found us. We finding corners. Yeah, we're finding little corners to go to, but uh, overall, so far, so good. People in here are wearing their masks, so but yeah, so far, so good. I'm going to go look for a shirt now. Sarah got her a shirt. And uh, yeah, let's go get uh, me a new shirt. Yeah.
we're here with Domingo Girardelli, and uh, we just got done at World of Disney. We did. I think the World of Disney was probably the busiest place we've been so far. Busiest we've place we've here. seen out here, and I think a lot of people were trying to do the social distancing. It's but very hard to do in the store. Yeah. And especially the way it's set up, and the way that there's there's not really arrows because of again the way it's set up. Yeah. So I think people were trying, but it it's a little hard to navigate. It's hard to navigate in there, so. If you really, as you should, if you really care about the six feet thing, you might find yourself duck into a corner every so often. Yeah, which thing, is what so. we were doing, and just kind of taking our time throughout the visit. But yeah, we got t-shirts, so that's exciting. Yes, we did, and we'll show you those in a little while. Yeah, they're super cute. Yeah, so we, we got, got two t-shirts. Nice shirts. And I think we're just gonna they close in 45 minutes, so yep. I think we're gonna just kind of wander. We're still kind of debating whether or not we want to get food on this visit. Yeah. Um, but I think we're just gonna kind of wander and and then see slowly what, get our way. See out what here. we see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so good to eat out. It's so good. And this is delicious. It's been a while. This is not gluten free. No, it is not gluten free. Sarah has gluten free ones coming. You can see there's spacing out seating in here. So we're over in a corner by it, ourselves. It looks like the white tables are where people are sitting and the black tables are where people are not sitting. Yeah. So Brandon's going to dig in and they're bringing me some gluten free bread. Mm -hmm. So good. Delicious. So good. He couldn't even wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. My first food out, besides our mellow mushroom, I got a gluten-free roll. Brandon's showing video here. So I'm, I've had this before. Um, so <laughs> yes. nothing new here, but it's just nice. It's essentially it's their bun, their gluten-free bun. But they give you a little bit of um, butter so you can have like a little bit of bread service. So it's super nice. Um, I'm glad that we are, as Brandon probably can show you here, by ourselves in this area. So that feels good. But otherwise, when dig into this, we ordered a salad to start with, mm -hmm. and we also I got some fish tacos, and Brandon got a steak. Yep. So we're just gonna enjoy our enjoy. first time out. I know. I'm so nervous. Sarah, you, Sarah, you got this. Breathe. I know. I know. So we're gonna dig in. It's gonna be good. salad we got but they split it up for us how nice was that so this is normally one big salad but they actually gave us two different servings so I have a bowl and Brayden has a bowl um, it's got blue cheese on it so of course there's dairy in that um, in terms of the dressing and bacon and some uh, tomatoes and red onion I can't even talk and describe food it's been so long <laughs> since we have been out um, but great option. They also have some really good vegetarian um, and vegan salads too, so you can always talk to them. But we really like these, and especially since we haven't been out for a while, we're like, we're going nuts with food. So I think I'm going to dig in, because we we've actually never had the wedge salad here before. All right, out to dig in. And? Mm. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. That blue cheese salad dressing is oh. really good. Um, you're going to love this. So super out. tasty. If you want sort of that classic steakhouse salad, this is a perfect one to try, but awesome. they have really good salads overall. All right, my first bite of the salad. Oh boy. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, he's so happy. <laughs> is it so good? Oh no. <laughs> Brandon's like, it's a miracle we're getting food out. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Boathouse. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Got 
tacos, and they have changed them up since the last time we yes, were here. Yes, they have. Um, so it's, I think it's mahi, and it's got some cabbage in it. There's also a side of onions and cilantro, and a really spicy salsa. I just tasted that. Too spicy for me. And then some lime. So I put some of that together. I think this is going to be a little messy. All right, this is her first bite of food besides mellow mushroom. And that's about it, right? The things I cook. And the thing, yeah, the things we make at home, I'm so tired which, of by the way, is delicious. Sarah so makes delicious cooking. food, but she is sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh no! Very good. Thank you. The Bono's. fish is great. Mm. I don't normally keep seafood in the house because of Brandon, so it's nice when we go out. I yes. can usually get seafood. And we are very cautious with cross-contamination. Yes, we wash very, hands yeah. and everything. So this is just nice to be able to get some seafood because yeah. I haven't had that in a couple months now. So super fresh. That's one of the things I love about the boathouse is their Amazing. seafood is really fantastic. So I'm going to keep digging into my taco. <laughs> All right, so our dinner's here. As you can see, I got the petite filet mignon. I did cut into it already to make sure it looked good how I wanted it, which is medium. And, and the potatoes with parsley potatoes butter. Potatoes with parsley butter. And I also got oh my gosh. a ridiculously what big this, mac and cheese. It won't be finished, <laughs> but I cannot wait. So uh, let's dig in. All right, got my first bite of the filet. Oh, Brandon's gonna be excited. He loves steak so much. <laughs> I've only taken a few bites. <laughs> He barely chewed it. I have, oh. a, I have a wheat here. So good. Mm. Oh, here we go. These have parsley butter and I think they said like an old bay. So I want more of them. <laughs> now, once you're done chewing no, that, now you got to go for the big ones. The mac and cheese. Oh gosh. Oh, it's still steaming. This is going to be. Right, this is a little messy and I apologize. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh dear. Oh. Can't take you anywhere. No, all right, I'm gonna have my napkin <laughs> ready. Oh boy, here we go. Keep it together, Brandon. Oh, that is so cheesy. <laughs> Brandon can't even have words. He's just, he tears. All of this feels like home. No. We're back at Disney and I'm so excited. Yay. So excited. I just wanted to do a quick video because, um, wow, there is no one in here right now except for us. Um, we did learn from our server. We thought that Disney Springs was closing at seven tonight, but apparently it is open till 10 because the curfew in Orange County got lifted. So I don't think people know it's dead in here. It's kind of crazy and kind of also awesome. All right, so really quick, we are on our way out. We, there's we, no one here. There's no one here. Wow, that's this, awesome. This is amazing. We had amazing service tonight. Mm -hmm. We'll do a full review in a little yes. bit, but uh, our server Dina was awesome. Super awesome. So um, my glasses are a little down. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, amazing. Amazing dinner. We'll talk more about it in a little bit. Alright Sarah, so where are we heading now? We just got out of Boathouse. We did. I'm very full <laughs> and I need to walk right now because I eat way too much food. Yeah, we definitely need to walk right now. Oh my gosh. So we're going to head over by, I guess the west side, over by the AMC and Starbucks over there to see yep. if we can get popcorn. We're going to try we for popcorn. We need more food. <laughs> But um, yeah, we, uh, we've had a great time here so far. Yeah, we're just gonna walk and I think it's beautiful night. It's hot, but it's beautiful Yeah, yeah night. it's muggy out right now. Walk off the food and just kind of see the other side, which we did not get to yep. see earlier. So yeah, popcorn. Yay!
well, we're sad. No popcorn. So you look behind us. The popcorn stands are over there, sort of by where the Star yeah. Wars store and the Marvel store are. And we just missed it. We just missed by it. By what, maybe 40 minutes or so? Yeah, I think they closed at 7 yep. um, because most of the places here closed at 7 because of the curfew. And then that was lifted yep. last minute. So, yeah, I think we missed yeah. out. But it's okay. We still got a good dinner. We had a great dinner. We were hoping for some Disney popcorn, but it's okay. We'll be back. Yes. And to be honest, we probably didn't need the Disney popcorn. Even no, we though didn't. No. the Disney popcorn no. sounds amazing. Yes. <laughs> so, we'll get it next time. Yep. So, we're just going to kind of meander because we're parked over in Orange Grass. So, we're just going to head that way. I think slowly Call cut out. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Talk about a moment frozen in time. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. Really sad, actually. Not just kind of. It really is sad. Everything available on uh, home video now. Well, do they say video, VHS? No. Streaming, Blu-ray, 4K, <laughs> but um, tell our age. Uh, yeah, but all available at home now. Kind of sad. Frozen in time. So we're back in the parking garage, yes. heading back, and I want to give a shout out to Disney Security. This uh, security guard, as we were coming out, these two guests were coming in. Mm -hmm. No mask. No mask, younger. Um, but she told them you need to wear a mask when you're shopping, walking happy. on the promenade. They were not happy. But um, they dug them out of their pockets and kind of just held them over their face. So hopefully they stay on them. But uh, good job, Disney uh, Security Guard. We didn't get her name, yeah. but good job to her. Yes, so. I agree. So we just, Brandon's driving straight and safe on the road. Listen, I want to just say this right away, <laughs> then I'm out Sarah talk because okay. I got to concentrate. Very excited. I was excited as heck to get there. It, weirdly enough, after we left and successfully ate and walked around and got some t-shirts, I'm even more excited to be back at Disney now. Oh. Um, it's amazing. Again, Disney I know magic. Disney magic, little pixie dust stuff, a little sprinkled on me and Sarah, I guess like that. But um, food was delicious. Again, mm -hmm. we're going to have a wrap up in just a minute. In fact, probably with the editing, as soon as we cut this, you'll see our wrap up. Yep. But um, <laughs> super awesome. Mm -hmm. So happy to be back at Disney. And now I'm going to concentrate and let Sarah talk. Yeah, it's uh, it feels very strange to be back after two and a half months maybe three Two months at this half, point three months at this point yeah yeah so it feels very strange it's also very strange right now you can't see because i've got the camera facing us but forward it's us in a disney security vehicle driving yeah there's just there's a disney like, security and vehicle. a now construction vehicle there's a, a no one truck. else on the road yeah. um i think because they were supposed to close disney springs tonight at seven but it extended like the curfew lifted so last they minute they changed so it was very quiet at the end so it's a little weird and creepy but it does feel good to be back i was a little stressed out coming and i'm still a little stressed out about some of the things today but Jeez. overall i feel really excited to be back in yes, the magic and know that in the next couple weeks maybe we can go to some of the resorts and enjoy some of the dining there and some of the calm atmosphere um, but it does feel really good to be back at disney really good really really good and we're happy we're happy you came along with us. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, we had a great time and we can't wait to wrap up. And I'm really glad we got to share it with all of you. Yeah, so am I. So we're going to be heading home and then we'll do a quick wrap up. And that'll be that'll the end be of that. today's magic. Yep. So we'll see you at home real soon. So we are back home and we thought we'd do just a quick debrief of Very everything. Very quickly, yeah. And we, we are prone to bramble. But yes. we're going to try to keep on. it tight tonight and yep. concise, but I don't know how we'll do it. So, and the cats are helping us. Cats are helping us down here with what we're about to show. Yes, yeah, so, so I guess, gonna, well, first of all, I guess we'll show you some of the things that we got Let's tonight. get this out of the way, yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, we, and then I'll put some of this stuff up. So we went to Ear McKenna's, which we showed a little bit yep. of that video. We were the only people in there, which is great. Um, again, Ear McKenna's is a 100% gluten-free, dairy-free and vegan bakery, which yep, is awesome. Yep. Gluten, and of dairy, course, vegan, everything. I have been Free. ordering stuff 
while they were closed yep. um, to deliver to the house. And for Sarah will link some videos. Yeah, so super awesome. And so today was the first time we've been there since things um, reopened. And so we got some cool stuff, new stuff. So I want to show you some new mm -hmm. stuff. So I impulse purchased. Um, you guys know I love the lemon tea cake. This is a lemon tea cake with raspberries in it, which is new and sounds super amazing. So mm -hmm. I did get that. Brandon's going to do close. Ooh, ah. Very exciting. And then the other thing I got, which I'll probably just, I'll probably post a picture on Instagram because I don't think this is going to translate very well, is like this layered cake with like um, a vegan whipped cream. Yeah, you're not. Brandon can show that maybe. It's a really cool, it's like two pieces with like um, caramel and whipped cream, vegan whipped cream on it. So it sounds super delicious. Dang. Really excited to try it. And surprise, surprise. We got a surprise. We got a bonus. We didn't order this. Yeah, they gave us a bonus brownie. So I was very excited to see this little tiny brownie. Little brownie. Thing, Can so. you see it in there? Little tiny brownie. There it is. There it is. Little tiny brownie. There so very exciting. Yep. They even gave us some forks and napkins yep. if we wanted to eat it there. So yeah, it was nice to be able to support that. So that's a little of the big goods that we got. So I guess a few initial impressions. Impressions. Um, we're gonna go over the good and the bad, um, but we want to be honest. As yeah. a lot of the channels we follow have been very honest mm -hmm. and open. So um, when we get there, we uh, you can kind of park wherever you want. Um, yeah, they weren't really. They weren't directing mm -hmm. any kind of parking at all. So we mm -hmm. chose to go to the third floor, and I think when we got there, we were one of only two cars yeah, on the third floor. Yeah, at least floor. on the side that we were yep. at. When we left, we were the only car. We were. It was crazy. Yeah. A little creepy. So, but yeah, the um, parking was easy, but um, mm -hmm. no one was directing any traffic or anything. You just right. kind of parked wherever you wanted. And they're not spacing. Perfectly yeah, they're not spacing. So. We know. Um, Universal Studios is spacing the parking mm -hmm. every other car, which I'll be honest, I wish Disney Springs were doing that. Yeah. I wish Disney was going that extra step to uh, to do that. But either way, um, that's not much of a negative. Just something that would be nice if they were to do that. But uh, no issues parking at all. Yeah, yeah. I will say um, the temperature checks and everything quick, super easy. quick. Yeah. They let us stay together because they're like we're in the same group. Yeah, if you're in the same group, you can stay together. Other than that, they do do the six feet apart, mm -hmm. um, and they took our temperature. Everyone. Super easy. Everyone doing the temperature checks was wearing a mask and gloves and everything. And I believe all those cast members had different color, like blue shirts on yeah. to identify them, I guess, as the entry checkpoint people or something. Yeah. Well, um, they had people, they were from Advent Health. So. Oh, okay. I See, I didn't know that. Yep. Cool. Um, um, also, the, uh, the private security, not Disney security, the parking garage is not... I don't believe it's owned by Disney. It's owned by another company mm -hmm. that they hire up different than Disney security. Right. They were all super nice, nice. wearing yep. masks and everything, yep. very polite, waving and everything, thanking us for being there. Yep. So shout out, I don't know what company owns it or anything, but shout out to all those people that work there too. Yeah, I would say every cast member we encountered, every everyone cast wore member. masks, yep. everybody was really positive and yep. friendly. Very and uplifting. Lots of cleaning, we saw lots and lots we of We saw lots cleaning. of cleaning. I wish we would have gotten more video of that. Um, you may not see a lot mm -hmm. in this vlog, but there were a lot of cast members cleaning um, trash cans to everything else. Yeah, so. lots of cleaning. I think that was really positive. Mm -hmm. I would say overall, many of you saw in this video that I was very nervous. So yeah. I have not been out of the house much, um, except for we went to Bella Mushroom, we've done the drive-in. Yeah. Um, if you are new or you don't know my background, so in addition to having celiac disease, I also have Crohn's disease. And so I'm on medication that lowers my immune system. So I am in a high risk category. So for me, it's kind of nerve wracking going yeah. out because I have to be extra safe. Yeah. Um, just knowing that my um, medication can lower my immune system. So it's really important yeah. for me to be as safe as possible. So for me, it's really stressful to think about people yep. not wearing masks just because and I don't want to put them at risk and I don't want to be at risk too. Which so. brings us to a negative, um, but a positive with that negative. We were mm -hmm. talking about just a percentage we saw of people mm -hmm. wearing or not wearing masks or something. When we first got there, we thought around 90%. Uh, by the time we left, I'd say 80 to 85%. Yeah, I'd say that's probably pretty um, accurate. After walking around, there are, we saw a lot, most people were wearing masks. Most were, mm -hmm. we want to make that very clear, I think, right? Yeah. Um, most were. However, there were clearly those people, and you know who you are, um, that, yeah, I'm going to say it. I was trying to say it to them when they were there. He's we're very there. concerned about my yeah. safety. And, and all of our safety. I'm safety. concerned about your safety out there, my safety, her safety. Yeah, so we all my family's, sure her we're family. following yep. what Disney um, recommends that we do. So, yeah, I'd say about 15% of the people, mm -hmm. um, maybe out of those 15%, maybe a small percentage were actually genuinely drinking something or eating something. 
most were just flaunting it. The ones that were not wearing the mask, they were just flaunting it. They didn't care. They had nothing around their neck. They just didn't even have them. Um, and it was a little sad to not see any Disney cast members approach them, except for, as we were leaving, yeah, the security was, guard, yeah, that, um, the security definitely. officer. She was on top of it. But I, uh, those two girls we saw, I can almost bet you, as soon as they got beyond that point, they took them off. Yeah, so um, I would just say that's one thing to think about. When please be aware of that. We both yep. agreed that going in off hours would be mm -hmm. something that we feel more comfortable, more comfortable with. Doing. By the time we left tonight after dinner, it was completely dead. Yeah. Um, so it was very, very quiet. So I felt a lot more comfortable yep. going in the off hours. Um, so I think that's something that we will continue to do going during the weekdays and yes. maybe a little later or a little earlier yep. in the day just to kind of avoid crowds. Yeah, so, um, but to everyone who does go there and wears their mask, does it properly. We want to thank you um, because yeah. you're part of all of this. And, and wear a fun mask. And wear a we fun mask. We, didn't, we mask, actually we have the cool medical, whatever, mask. I don't know. Yeah, we saw are. some really fun um, ones We saw tonight. some really cool masks tonight. It's like um, a new fashion statement. Yeah, it's like a new like fashion it. statement. So uh, I kind of wish I had something more cool than just... Mm -hmm. we yeah, I, yeah, I get a bunch of those at work. Um, yeah, get some baby Yoda ones. Um, we also want to say that even though we just said some people were not wearing masks, Except for a few bottleneck areas, there's ample room there to get away or yep. to walk to it in a different direction. Um, however, a few of those bottleneck areas, like um, by the paddlefish, it used to be called yeah, paddlefish, I don't know. by T-Rex. Um, T-Rex, those with mask, without a mask, you're gonna be next to people. Yeah, and I would you're say gonna be next to the people. world of Disney and some of that shopping yep. area right there definitely felt yep. more crowded. There was a lot of areas where, especially the west side, yep. didn't feel busy at, at all, all no. even over by the boathouse and stuff that was that felt pretty because good. those areas are all wider it felt a lot more um calm and yeah. a lot less crowded so it was easier to kind of keep at a good distance from people yeah. so we definitely liked those areas more yeah, and so. definitely something to be aware of yeah i would say um just to finish up with i know we're going off on the mask thing but like sarah explained about her it's yeah, very true we, we care we want to protect sarah we want to we want to protect everybody me everyone there um so yeah, just know if you do go, you will see people without masks on from all the mm -hmm. other vlogs you've probably seen and what we're saying here. Um, yeah, and uh, it's a shame. And hopefully, maybe Disney can enforce it a little more. If I could say yeah, anything, that being you know, maybe said, enforce it a little more. We have had some people ask um, us if we're going to go to the parks, and I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going to do the parks this summer. Yeah. Um, now that could change. And, it might I very think, well change, but I we think don't know. As of right now, we are not planning on going to the parks no. just because of the crowds and the heat. Yep. And if it, tonight was any indication, you know, there's definitely going to be people who may or may not be wearing masks. So for us, I'm not sure we're going to be doing that. We'll see. Yep. We definitely want to go to the resorts. Yeah, we will be going to the resorts, yes. And have dinners and stuff there mm -hmm. just because we think that'll be a little bit calmer. Yeah, we want to continue to bring you Disney magic mm -hmm. and all the magic as well as food magic from Disney. Yes. Oh, um, so that, so lead into that leads us to Boathouse. Boathouse, which we had, when we went there, I think we said at the beginning of this video, <laughs> we had so no, happy. we had no plans to we eat did there. It. We thought we might eat there, we might not. We, we were actually might. looking at Deluxe Burger yeah. and because of the crowding over in those shopping areas, we actually decided not to go to Deluxe because we were a little nervous about the yep. crowding and we thought Boathouse looked like it was quieter and it was quiet and it was pretty quiet <laughs> it was pretty quiet super nice shout out to our server Dina yeah Dina Dina was awesome you'll she probably never see this but if you do you were awesome she was awesome and the manager they brought out due to our food allergies mm -hmm. Lena. 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 Lena from Sweden. From Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, she was awesome too. Very um, nice. Very Everybody nice Everybody was yep. really great. We actually kept our masks on. They're like, you can take them off now. Yeah. Every, yeah when, when the server first showed up, I threw my mask back on and they're like, no, 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 no. Um, but they kept theirs on literally the entire time. We yep. didn't see one person there without his or her mask on. Yeah. They were really so that great. That was really cool. At making sure that we were well taken care of mm -hmm. and especially with special dietary needs. Um, I didn't notice any gaps in terms of the supplies. Um, that's one of the questions people asked about limited menu. It really wasn't a limited menu. It looked like... Did you want to hold it up? Yeah, I was, was going to let her hold it up, but oh, speaking of limited tell. menu, you are that's allowed to menu. take them home. This is the actual menu so from today. it's not really limited. <laughs> when you can see what, June 8th. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. That's not a regular a, menu. This is pretty much... Yeah, that's, that's what the regular menu more Regular like. menu. Yeah. Little more flimsy paper, of yeah, course, we, understandably. We got to take home with us. And we got to take home. So this mm -hmm. is a part of history now. It, to quote Indiana Jones, it belongs in a museum. <laughs> um, maybe someday it will be. Yeah. Who knows? But a uh, piece so, of personal history. Yeah, so the menus to me weren't really restricted at all. Um, I was able to get a gluten-free um, 
bread for the yep. bread service. We had plenty of options. So yeah, I thought that would was Phenomenal. really great. And we were the only people in our area in our and they area. were definitely spacing to build. Yeah, what, um, I think we said it before, but when mm -hmm. you go in there, you'll see white tablecloths and black tablecloths. It looks like the white tables cloths are where people are seating. Mm -hmm. The black tablecloths are where they're not seating people and they kind of have uh, utensils on them and everything clean. From what yeah. I saw, there were things on them so they could get to them easily and hand them to you and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so overall, but, um, I didn't notice any lack in terms of items. The nothing. seafood I have was yep. really fresh. Everything My was great. My steak was delicious, as, you, as you've already seen. Our we food. were so excited We to were so out. excited. I'm beyond full right now, so it felt great to <laughs> walk afterwards. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so overall, I think we had a, a great night. Mm -hmm. It was exciting to be able to go to Disney for the first time. Very exciting. Nerve-wracking, but exciting, and yep. I'm glad that we did it and got to experience um, mm -hmm. one of our favorite at Disney Springs restaurants yep. and get to just be at Disney. Yeah. So, so I think, yeah, I think kind of that's wrapping about up. It. So, yeah. as uh, well as Sarah always says, comment. Um, please. Yeah. Go ahead and say. Let us know yeah. things that you'd like to see. Also, if you have specific resort restaurants that you'd love to yes. see us review once they're reopened, let us know that too. Um, let us know your thoughts about Disney Springs because we'll probably go back at least more times this yep. summer i don't think we're going to go back a ton but we definitely we will go back, go yeah. back. Um, so if there's yeah. something you'd like to see it, let us know yeah leave a comment what you like or dislike or mm -hmm. whether you've been there maybe you've been there what do you agree with us do you disagree with what we've yeah. seen um what we said by all means we look forward to dialogue with everyone mm -hmm. um but anything else no i think that's about it Let's so other than that think. yeah uh to all the patrons thank you on patreon thank you so so mm -hmm. much you you guys and girls are awesome um, thank you to everyone watching this video who subscribes, mm -hmm. likes, hits that bell, um, give us that little thumbs up, the like, whatever it is. Um, but <laughs> thank you, things. yeah, all those things. Um, and please do comment. We like to mm -hmm. uh, engage with you. Yeah, we love hearing um, what people have to think. Yeah, we love say. hearing what you guys have to th uh, think and say. It's awesome. Yeah. So, so thank you so much. I think now we are hot. We are gonna unwind. Yeah. The, we are yeah, full. Sweaty. Yes. And with that, we will see you real soon. That's have it. a great night. Bye. See you soon.